welcome to this proclamation. We come together this afternoon following the passing of our late Sovereign, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Our sadness at this time is shared by people across the globe as we remember with affection and gratitude the lifetime of service given by our longest reigning monarch. The basis on which our monarchy is built has ensured that through the centuries the crown has passed in an unbroken line of succession. Today's ceremony marks the formal proclamation to the people of Fife of the beginning of our new king's reign. And I will now hand over to Fife Council's Chief Executive, Steve Grimmond. <coughs> Yesterday, the Accession Council met at St James's Palace to proclaim our new sovereign. The flags which had flown at half-mast since Her Majesty's death were raised briefly to their full height to mark the start of His Majesty's reign. The Accession Council also made an order requiring the proclamation to be read in the principal areas of jurisdiction. In Edinburgh, the Lord Lyon discharged that duty earlier today. Therefore, I now bring the words of the proclamation to the residents of Fife. The proclamation of the new sovereign is a very old tradition which can be traced back over many centuries. The ceremony does not create a new king. It is simply an announcement of the accession which took place immediately on the death of the reigning monarch. In an age where modern methods of communication convey news around the globe in an instant, the proclamation is no longer the means by which people learn for the first time they have a new monarch. Today, however, is one of the first occasions when we and communities have an opportunity to come together and reflect on the moment in our nation's history when the reign of our longest serving monarch came to an end and our new sovereign succeeded. I will now read out the formal proclamation. <coughs> Whereas it has pleased Almighty God to call to his mercy our late sovereign, Lady Queen Elizabeth II of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George. We, therefore, the Lords spiritual and temporal of this realm and members of the House of Commons, together with other members of our late Majesty's Privy Council, and representatives of the realms and territories, aldermen and citizens of London, and others, do now hereby, with one voice and consent of tongue and heart, publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles, Philip Arthur George, is now, by the death of our late sovereign of happy memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege, Lord Charles III. By the grace of God, of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and of his other realms and territories, King, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, beseeching God by whom kings and queens do reign to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us given at St James's Palace this 10th day of September in the year of our Lord, 2022. God save the King. God, God save, save the King. King.
each heals from his majesty of heaven. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you. Can I now invite the Fife Presbytery moderator, Lorraine Fraser, to read a blessing for the King. Let us pray. Lord, we ask your blessings on the royal household as they mourn a much-loved mother, grandmother, great-grandmother. May they know they are in our hearts at this time. Everlasting God, we pray for King Charles III on his accession to the throne. Bless his reign and guide us to work together as he embarks on the affairs of state, pursuing justice, harmony and fairness for all. God bless the King. Amen. Amen.